A storm chaser and a Forest Hill Central grad says that a probe that he launched might be the most successful probe ever into a massive Midwestern tornado. The information from that probe could give scientists unprecedented information about tornadoes. Barton Dieters is talking with the storm chaser and brings us inside a tornado. Barton. Well, Brian and Marley, it was a massive F4 tornado that ripped through Kansas for 31 miles on Tuesday, damaging more than 60 homes, leaving 17 people injured. But this particular tornado also may provide information that could help science understand and prepare for future twisters. This is what Reed Timmer does for a living 20 years after he graduated from Forest Hills Central High School. I used to do the bottle rocket event in Science Olympiad where you try to get the rocket to suspend in the air as long as possible. Uh, but now we're launching rockets into tornadoes. Go, 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 go! Tuesday, Timmer and his team were, quote, lucky enough to be only a couple hundred yards from this massive tornado that started about 6.15 p.m. south of Lawrence, Kansas. We have an armored vehicle called the Dominator 3 that has a rocket launcher on the roof. It takes a rocket to penetrate the strong winds around the tornado and actually get caught up in the flow. In the EF4, just last week, we were a couple hundred yards to the north of it. I aimed the rocket launcher right at the inflow notch of the tornado. Once in the tornado, a parachute is deployed, and in this case, it was carried aloft to over 30,000 feet high, traveling 180 to 190 miles per hour. We're coming up at 18,000 feet. We're at 18,000 feet. The rocket's at 18,000 feet in the air. Just crossed 18,000 feet. Yeah. Yeah. We launched one into an EF-4, and it was carried for over 30 miles inside the circulation. We got it in! The probes are measuring data like temperature, relative humidity, pressure inside, and high-speed trajectory that will allow them to create a 3D model of the tornado. The sensors can stream live data that allows them to measure how strong the tornado is in real time. The data that's contained on that sensor is just unfathomable, and for that reason, even in the moment when I saw it enter the tornado, I was just overwhelmed with excitement. This may be the longest time a probe has survived in a tornado this large and powerful through its entire life cycle. In the future, we hope to launch dozens, if not hundreds of probes inside many tornadoes to better understand the complex dynamics that, that produce the very damaging conditions at the ground. A couple guys near the Kansas City airport found the probe Thursday about 30 miles from where the tornado started. The probe will provide data that will be analyzed for years and help predict tornado paths and even help design buildings that can better withstand tornadoes. Well, if we can better understand tornadoes, then we can better predict their path. Uh, we can have greater warning lead times as well. And then ultimately, we can save lives. Timmer said despite the danger, he loves his job. This didn't seem dangerous at all to me. I'm more comfortable around tornadoes than human beings, honestly, in terms of chasing them and understanding their motion. What? Now, it's worth noting a tour bus that was chasing this tornado was blown off the road and flipped, injuring several people. So it's best to leave this kind of thing to the pros. In studio, Barton Dieters, 24-Hour News 8.